Hickory dickory dock, Ooh, time to beat the clock. Time for fun has now begun, let's all play beat the clock. Beat the Clock is brought to you by Sylvania. For half a century, a quality name in incandescent bulbs, fluorescent tubes and fixtures, photo lamps, radio and television sets, radio and television tubes and electronic devices. Yes, for homes, offices, schools and factories, Sylvania. Let's all play Beat the Clock. Now, here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Conyers! Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Beat the Clock, the show where you have the time of your life playing against time for big time prizes. We have some holdover contestants from last week. If you come over here with me, we'll have the pleasure of re-meeting them. Private and Mrs. Linwood Schrader, stationed at the moment at Fort Slocum, but your home, I understand, is Lexington, Kentucky. Let's give them a warm welcome back, shall we? <laughs> All right, Mr. Schrader. Don't do it. <laughs> Lynn, nice to have you back here with us again. Did you have kind of a, a, a nervous week waiting to come back here? Oh, we kept wondering all the time. <laughs> I don't doubt you. Couldn't figure out what we had in store for you, could you? No, we couldn't. I know I showed you the two plungers and the, and the, uh, the volleyballs, but didn't tell you anything about it. So you had to kind of figure out. Did you figure out anything? No, we haven't. You did. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, one thing we do have tonight is a brand new bonus. Our bonus went last week. His end of you weren't watching, which I hope is not the case. But a young lady and her husband, uh, she was a farmer, I think. Was it from New Jersey? I forget where they came from. But in any event, she did it, by golly. It was worth $1,500. So we had to start a brand new one tonight. It's for a fella. So wherever that bell rings, it might be you or anybody else on the show tonight. Meantime, let's get back, shall we, to the uh, ball plungers and the balls and see what happens. Both of you come over here, if you will, on the... On the $200 clock, you've beaten your $100 clock. Now, if you'll pause right here, Miss Schrader, I'm going to ask uh, Lynn to come over here, if you will, please. Take these two plungers from Madeline. That's the idea. Hold them down fairly close to the end. That's it, right about in there. It's a good, comfortable spot. Good. Now, what has to happen is this. Your wife is going to take these volleyballs one at a time, and she's going to bounce them to you. Your object is to catch That's it. That's it. Just catch them on. They just got to catch them until you have one on each one. When you have a volleyball on each one of those, you look like the outside of an apartment house. Why, <laughs> we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Speaking of the clock, let's take a look at it. See how many seconds you have, Lynn. 55 seconds from the time I say go. You can stand any way you want to. You can move as close to your wife or as far away anywhere you want to. You understand? You understand your part. Okay, you ready? Go. There's one, boy. That's it. Don't lose the first one. Don't lose the first one. Watch it. Now you have to get it in the first bounce. like you knew what was going to happen and you had a chance to practice it. Well, you had good steady hands there, fella. You may have thought you were nervous, but you held them real good because it's not really that easy to do. You just made it look easy and that's all the better. That's so much to your credit. Well, I guess you know what's in store for you now because the two of you combined have gone through the $100 and the $200 clocks, but right now, let's catch our breath while we listen to a gift idea by Bill Shipley. Here's a wonderful Christmas gift for the person who has everything. It's the Skylark, Sylvania's new personal portable radio. And it comes with this stylish top grain leather carrying case. Mighty good to look at. It's even better to hear. And you can hear it instantly at the turn of this switch. Yes, it's tiny, yet it brings you the brilliant tone and powerful performance of big six tube radios. And when you listen to the Skylark in a strong signal area, you can greatly prolong battery life by moving this exclusive battery miser switch to this save position. The large non-slip tuning dial is easy to read and assures you a precision tuning. It's easy to carry the Skylark, either in this attractive case with its adjustable shoulder strap or by this convenient lift-up handle, for it weighs less than four pounds with batteries. See the Skylark at your Sylvania dealer soon. Its sturdy plastic case comes in four handsome house and garden colors, leaf green, taffy, cherry, and driftwood. It makes a grand Christmas gift, and so do the other Sylvania radios, the Catalina Portable, the radio clocks, including the night lighter with panelescent dial, and the powerful table radios. All are handsome to look at and wonderful to hear. Lynn and your wife, now your wife's going to carry on for you. So if you, sir, will step down over there, you can't help in any way except by holding good thoughts. And Miss Schrader, if you'll step up on this platform down at the far end there, 
turn around and face the audience and don't turn back again until I tell you to. And behind you now is our famous jackpot board. On it are all of the words of a famous saying or quotation, but they're all mixed up and out of order. You've got to get them back in order in 20 seconds. Now, don't look till I tell you to. Open the curtain. Turn around, take a look. Go. jackpot clock it was sure worth coming back for wasn't it well let's see what you've won just take a look over here it's the 1954 sylvania stratford with a 21 inch screen and the great new photo power chassis for photographically clear pictures and even the most distant reception areas and of course the stratford has halo light for the greatest eye comfort in all television Congratulations, Private and Mrs. Schrader. You have just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. Oh, congratulations. Good to see you. <laughs> Roxanne, whom do we have now? Whoa, we got a family here, haven't we, huh? Bud, I'd like you to meet Laura and Philip and Mr. and Mrs. Anthony uh, Janicek, correct? J-A-N-O-S-I-K, Janicek. Yes, very Hattonfield, nice. New Jersey. Thank you very much, Roxanne. How are you, Miss Janicek? Nice Hi. to have you here. And uh, Tony, is that what Thanks, they call right. you? May I call right. you Tony? Right. All right, let's talk to the rest of the family. Come on out here, honey, and let you and I talk for a minute. Let's talk ladies first here, huh? What's your name? Laura. How old are you, Laura? Six. That's an awful pretty dress you're wearing. Mommy give you that? Yeah. Turn around, let the audience see the back of it, because that's pretty, too. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> what are you going to be when you grow up, honey? Huh? Nurse. You're going to be a nurse, are you? I'm going to give you something to practice on right away. Son, come over here, too. Let me talk to you. What's your name? Philip. You're Philip. And how old are you? Nine. You're nine years old. What are your plans for your future? I'm going to, I'm going to take after my father. You're going to take extinguisher. after him? What's he done? <laughs> what, what, what does he do? Fire extinguisher. Oh, he's, a, he's in the fire department, is he? No. Huh? He... He, he uh, manufactures fire extinguishers? Yes. And you're going to get a fire extinguisher and take after your father. I see. Well, all right. <laughs> now, we have something for both of you. Uh, Roxanne, would you come out here with uh, a Roxanne doll for the young lady? Yes, there you are. Roxanne doll. And here is a Argus 75 camera for you. And we're going to have a whole kit of uh, uh, those wonderful Sylvania flash bulbs with a blue dot for sure shot. Take along with you. How's that, honey? And you practice being a nurse now. You stand back there while we put mom and dad to work on the $100 clock. And if you both come over here with me, I'll show you what it entails. Now, here we have sort of a little semicircle of these little tabarets, you see? Now, Mrs. Janicek, you work the outside of the circle. Mr. Janicek, you work the inside of the circle. And you move from table to table. You notice there's a dish and a ball on each table. Now, here we have, thank you, Betty, an ordinary cardboard box. Uh, fasten onto a stick here, you see. You have to hold that stick, as you see, but balance it on your hand, preferably on the back of your hand if you can. Balance it on your hand and walk from table to table while balancing it, and your wife will put a ball in at each table. Now, if you have to grab the box or if it falls at any time, we have to stop and start all over again. You understand the problem? Okay, you have to hold it balanced on the back of your hand, and you put one ball in at each table. All I have to do is just pick him up. Pick him up and put him in, then he moves to the next table. You have to go and wait for him at each table, you see? He has to come around to you at each point. Take a look at the clock. See how many seconds you have. 55 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Come over here, boy. Come on. Take it easy. You keep watching that box. Go watch her. Just watch the box. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Uh, do, you, do you find it easier to balance on the, on the front of your hand, do you? All right, balance it that way then. Are you ready? Get it set now. Get it set. Go. Take it easy. Take it easy. Easy, easy, easy. Take it easy. Now put the next one in. Hurry up quick before he has to grab it. I was doing and I found it was easier on the back of my hand. You found it easier on the front of your hand. Yeah, well, anyway, it just shows you're a well-balanced pair. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it got you through the $100 clock, and that, of course, was the main one. Now, uh, Anthony, or rather Tony, I want to ask you something. How are you at predicting the weather? 
You know the usual little signs, you look up at the clouds, and you, can you tell when you look, go out in the morning what sort of a day it's going to be? Yes, I, I believe can. that. We have a special <laughs> weather department who wants you to visit. Will you come over here with All me? Right. Family can stay back here and watch, but you come over here with me to our weather bureau. Bring out our weather bureau, will you please? There we are. Now, we have it all equipped here, and your office is at that desk. If you'll have a seat there, behind that black cloud up over your head. Uh, Betty's going to give you a little cap you can put on. That's in case it should rain, you know, or something like that. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Madeline has a little a stick for you. Now, the purpose of that stick is this. On the inside of each one of these cards, there's a different weather condition written down, you see? Now, what you do when I say go, I'll say poke one. You poke one of these, any one of these over that you want to, poke it over, yes, poke it forward. I'll read what it says on it, and then you wait. And you don't poke another one until I tell you to, because the weather will then materialize whatever you have poked over. As soon as you poke over the one that says, Sonny, we'll stop the clock, and you'll beat the clock, and I'll take a look at the clock right now and see what happens. You have exactly 45 seconds from the time I say go. Are you ready? Go, poke one. Snow. Oh! <laughs> Snow. All right, poke another one. What do we got there? Everything is back. Hook another one. Smog. Do we have some smog up there? There comes the smog. That's the idea. Hook the last one. Hey, and you got Sonny by mistake. It fell down with all the others. He deserves the sunshine, gentlemen. There. Stay right there. Roxanne, using one of those Sylvania flashbulbs with a blue dot for sure shot. Now, you stay there. The girls will get you all cleaned up. <laughs> How'd you like what happened to Daddy, huh? Wasn't that something, though? Huh? Would you like to have sat under all that weather? Come here, honey. Come over here a minute. Would you like to go over there and get some of that stuff on you? <laughs> you wouldn't? Why not? I don't want to. You didn't mind your Daddy doing it, did you? You didn't mind at all. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> all right, Miss Janice, it's your turn now to carry on for the family. If you'll step up on that little platform, kids, you and I'll stand right here while Mom does this. And in back of you now is our jackpot board with all of the words of a famous saying or quotation. All mixed up, you get them unmixed in 20 seconds from the time I say go. Now, please don't turn around until I tell you to. Open the curtain. Turn around, take a look. Go. Stop the clock! She got it! Possession is time for the law! Get in there with Bob now! <laughs> Possession is time for the law! I'm telling you, you walked through that one nicely, so you've beaten our jackpot clock. Let's see what Mom has won. Just take a look over here. <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful? Again, Sylvania presents The Stratford, one of its great TV line for 54, with such exclusive features as the photo power chassis, for photographically clear pictures in all areas, and the halo light, which surrounds this 21-inch screen for the most comfortable viewing you have ever experienced. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Janicek. You, too, have just won Sylvania's Jackpot Prize. Right, congratulations to you, too. Hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you will. Good night, kids. Bye. Now, well, Roxanne, who do we have now? Oh, my goodness, we got families galore here tonight, haven't we, huh? Uh, we have Bobby, Bud, I'd like to meet him. Hi, and Bobby. And Mr. and Mrs. Robert Warwick from... Oh, golly, Robert Powers from Warwick, Virginia. Yeah, you're just moving them around here. You're doing all right. Thank you very much, Roxanne. Bob, how are you? Nice to have you here. Miss Powers, welcome to you. And this is, uh, what's your name? Bobby. You're Bobby. Come on over here, Bob. Let you and I have a little chat. Boy, I like that jacket you got on there. That's real nice. You like loud colors, do you? Mm -hmm. Huh? That looks real good on you. Who tied your bow tie? Nobody. How'd you get it tied like that? It came like that. Oh, it came like that. I see. <laughs> When I asked the other little boy what he was going to be when he grew up, I want to ask you the same question. What are you going to be? I don't know. Yeah. You haven't made up your mind yet? Maybe we can start you off with being a photographer, Roxanne. Uh, you have a, a camera for him back there, haven't you? Did you see the camera the little boy got? You're going to get one just like it. How's that? Okay? okay. And some Sylvania super flash bulbs with a blue dot for sure shot. Right now, let's find out what Mr. and Mrs. Powers have in store for them. And all our friends down in Warwick, Pennsylvania are watching. Uh, right uh, before we start that, though, let's turn the clock back 50 years with Bill Shipley. Old-fashioned Christmas holidays must have been wonderful. What a shame that the fun of those days couldn't have been captured in wonderful pictures like this. Well, today, thanks to the magic of flash photography, the high moments of your holiday fun can be preserved in pictures. 
and because of Sylvania Bantam 8 flash bulbs. You see, these tiny little Bantam 8s give you just the right light for your film. Not too little and not too much, but just right for wonderful, lifelike pictures. And you can get 12 of these tiny Bantam 8s in one of these handy black and yellow cartons and still save money. Bantam 8s cost less than the bigger bulbs, and yet they give you the same surefire dependability of all Sylvania Blue Dot flash bulbs. So, Visit your nearest photo counter very soon and pick up several cartons of Bantam 8 so that you'll be sure to be ready for those Christmas picture opportunities and also get several packs as gifts for photo fans. Bantam 8s work equally well with expensive or inexpensive cameras and they fit any flash attachment that takes a midget bulb. All right, Bob and your fine wife, let's see what we have for you now on a category and your very first uh, clock, which is the $100 clock. Where is that clock? It's gone, hasn't it? All right, if you will both come over here with me, and son, if you want to walk over here too, you can watch what mom and dad have to do. Now, if you will step over there, Madeline has a hat for you, and uh, Betty has a hat for you. I want you to put them on, old-fashioned skating hat, and put the elastic under your chin. That's, don't disappear altogether. You can pull it up a little bit there. That's the idea. Now, if you both come over here with me, I want to show you three paper cups on the floor here. You see them? Now, if you look down in front of you, you'll see two little tabarets. Those act as goal posts. I want you to make two goals by getting any two of these paper cups between those two tabrets, right through and between and past them. Do you understand? Kicking. Beg pardon? Kicking them. Kicking them? No, that's what these hats are for. You can only use the tassel on the hat. You understand? And you can't touch it with your hand at any time. You just got to swing that tassel and knock two of those cups through. Take a look at the clock and see how many seconds you have. Here we are back here. 50 seconds. Are you ready? Go. And believe me, I was just kidding. Well, that got you through the first one a good style. The $100 clock is out of the way now. Well, here's the new one, and of course it's worth $100 in cash tonight. And I'll show you what it involves. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. All right, then you stand on the right side, that is this side of that little tabaret. Now, what you have to do is this. I don't know if I can manage with all these cards and mics and everything, but you tip this upside down and put it on your head like that. You steady it with one hand, and you take a dish off here, and you reach around and find the back leg, and you balance a dish on it. Then you take another dish off, and you put it up on the other leg so that you have two of them balanced on those two legs. These two legs that are marked with the stripes. Do you understand? You must have two dishes sitting on there like that in order to stop the clock and beat the clock. Got the idea? All right, just stand alongside it there. I'll take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. No, you can start with it right up on top of your head. 40 seconds to do it. Are you ready? Go. another hundred dollars will be added to it for next week and it keeps on that way until somebody gets it that moves you on up now to the two hundred dollar clock you don't have to worry about anything the bonus is out of the way and uh, i think you'd better take your coat off for this if you don't mind sir might be in your wife's way otherwise and if you both come over here with me i'll show you what this involves 
Bobby, you want to come on over and stand here, too? Come on, son, you can stand here. If you'll put the sweater on that Betty has for you and you put the one on that uh, Madeline has for you, I'll hold the pillows for you, girls. You won't have to worry about it. Button them up the front, all except the top button. Leave the top button open. Just leave that top button open, if you will, please. That's the idea. Now, I'm going to hand you this uh, little sofa pillow as soon as you finish buttoning there. And I'm going to hand your husband one, too. Now, when I say go, here's your problem. You have to turn those up. You won't have to bother with it when time you get through here. Stand facing each other. When I say go, at the same time, you start stuffing this down the sweater in back of your husband's neck here till it's all the way shoved down entirely inside the sweater at the same time as he's shoving the one down the back of your sweater here. Got the idea? All right, take a look at the clock. See how many seconds you have. 50 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Think you could have done that? Oh, well, maybe. You think you could have too, do you? All right. Well, now while Pop and you are taking a little rest, Mom goes right on working. If you and Dad will stand down over there, and Dad can't help in any way except by holding good thoughts, it's your turn to work now, Mrs. Uh, uh, Powers. If you stand at the far end of that platform, that's it. Face the audience and don't turn back until I tell you to. And back of you now is our jackpot board with another famous saying on it. All the words are there, but they're all mixed up. You've got to get them unmixed in 20 seconds. Do you understand? Now, don't look till I tell you to. Open the curtain. Turn around, take a look. Go. Stop the clock. You did it. Don't come on. Oh, boy. Well, let's see what you've won now. I suppose you know, but take a look anyway. Just take a look over here. Again, Sylvania presents the Stratford, one of its great TV line for 54, with such exclusive features as the photo power chassis, for photographically clear pictures in all areas, and halo light, which surrounds this 21-inch screen for the most comfortable viewing you've ever experienced. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Powers. You two have just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. My congratulations to you, too. What is this, family night on Beat the Clock? My goodness, I never saw so many families. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, we have Peggy they? and Kathleen and Mr. and Mrs. Harold McCabe from Bronx, New York. Well, nice to have you here, McCabe. Let's have a welcome from our audience for the McCabe family. How are you? Mr. McCabe, how are you? And let's see, which is which here now? Who are you? Peggy. You're Peggy? How old are you, Peg? Six. Six years old. You married? Oh, wait a minute, what am I saying? No, of course you're not married. Do you have a boyfriend? No. No? Does your big sister have a boyfriend? Yes. What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> you almost found out something there, didn't we? What's your name, honey? Kathleen. And Kathleen, how old are you? Ten. Is it true you have a boyfriend? No. How about that? Do you think she's telling the truth? No. <laughs> we won't go into that any deeper. We'll find out something maybe we shouldn't find out. Mr. McKay, what do you do for a living? I'm a lieutenant in the fire department. Are you, sir? Yes. Is this your night off? Yes, sir. Good. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Glad you came here with your nice family. And, of course, we have two Roxanne dolls for these two young ladies. You got them back there? Uh, I guess she's tied up right now, but you'll get them right after the show. Two lovely Roxanne dolls, one for each of you. And uh, we'll find out about what your problem is in the $100 clock. Right now, uh, some light on home movie lighting. Here's Bill Shipley. Thanks, bud. You know, I have a hunch that Santa's going to bring a lot of you folks movie cameras for Christmas. There couldn't be any finer gift. And you're probably going to want to shoot all your holiday fun, which is a great idea. But remember, clear, sharp movies require plenty of light. So you better make sure that Santa also brings you some Sylvania Reflector Super Flood Lamps. You see, these uh, Sylvania Reflector Super Floods have built-in reflectors, saves you the trouble of lugging around a reflector, and also gives you more even light. You'll never have any hot spots like this, nor any rings like this to spoil your pictures. Instead, you'll get perfect illumination over the entire area that you're shooting. And Sylvania Reflector Super Floods are really easy to use. You can simply clip them on to the back of a chair like this with one of these handy clip-on sockets, or mount them right alongside your camera on a bar like this. 
Either way, you're all set to take movies in gorgeous color or brilliant black and white. So stop in and see Sylvania Reflector Super Floods at your own dealers very soon. You have the R32, which lasts nearly four times as long as standard reflectors, or its companion, the R34. Take your choice, but be sure to take Sylvania. Who's watching you? My brother. How old is your brother? Three. He's three years old. What's his name? Mickey. Well, why don't you wave to Mickey right in that camera there so he knows that you're, that you're thinking about him. And you have an older sister, too, did I hear you say? Yeah. How old is she, Kathleen? Fourteen. Fourteen. Where is she tonight? She's over her girlfriend's. She had a date, huh? <laughs> I see. All right. Well, now we're going to put Pop to work on the $100 clock. So, Harold, if you don't mind coming over here with me, I'll show you why we had you put those rubbers on your feet so you wouldn't slip. Now, if you will come right down here and just have a stand. You see where those two little outlines of feet are? That's where you start this entire performance. Now, here is a cardboard box. Hold this in either or both hands. I don't care which. And you take these roller skates one at a time. You roll them up this ramp and you run around and try to make them roll off the far end. Get around the side here in time to catch them in that box. Catch two in the box. We'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Have you got the idea? Yes. One at a time. And you must always start from that position. In other words, you can't get to the side and roll it up and then catch it off. You've got to roll it up and then run around there and catch it before it gets off on the floor. All right, sir, take a look at the clock. See how many seconds you have. 55, I warn you to move fast. Are you ready? Go. those anymore we'll get those put away well that jumps you up from the 100 dollars clock to the 200 think you could have done that yes you think you could have huh want to go backstage and try it <laughs> not right now huh <laughs> okay let's see what your problem is in the 200 dollars clock now if you both come over with, uh, with me on this one this involves a little cooperation by mom and pop come on over if you will mr ms mccabe <laughs> kathleen peggy you can come along and stand here by mom if you want to and watch everything now here we have these little here guns you see them You've seen these, haven't you, kids? You know what happens when you shoot them? Yeah, you pump that. What happens? What happens? The ball comes out, doesn't it? See? Just like, like that. Right out there like that. Okay. Now, Mama's going to hold these, and we'll keep loading them and handing them to you. And your father is going to stand right up there. If you'll stand right up there, sir. And all you have to do is turn around and face your wife. You, you got a mask for him there? Toss it over here to me. That's the idea. You put this mask on so you don't get hit in the eye with <laughs> All you have to do is catch and hold Two ping pong balls. We'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 55 seconds. Are you ready, Miss McCabe? You ready, Harold? Go. Go ahead. Start shooting. Hurry up. Don't aim. Just shoot. Just shoot. Pump it. Pump it. That's it. Harder. There we are. Come on. That's the idea. Come on. He's got one. Take it. No, no, no. Pump it. Give her another one. Give her another one. Hurry up. Clock's ticking away. Go. You still have 23 seconds. We'll start the clock all over next week if you can come back. Can you come back? Meantime, you can buy one of these things and practice like mad at home. <laughs> all right, Stan. I don't think you do, no. Well, that's all we have time. That's all we have time for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the new bonus. Right now, this is Bud Collier speaking for Sylvania. Hoping that next time may be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Godman production. Produced in association with the CBS Television Network. Roxanne's gone by Nat Kaplan. Beat the Clock is brought to you by Sylvania. This is Vern Bennett reminding you to tune in every week at the same time for Beat the Clock.